Welcome to this screencast on parameterizing curves in multiple segments. I want to be clear about what I expect when parameterizing curves that um, are naturally represented in uh, separate sections. And I want to do this with a simple example problem, and the question is the following. You want to parameterize the curve C, which is shown over here. It starts at 1, 0, proceeds along an upper uh, unit semicircle to minus 1, 0, then along the x-axis to the origin, and then along a lower semicircle back to 1, 0. So that's the curve, and what we want is to give up, uh, we want to parameterize it. Because this curve is naturally represented in three separate segments, which I'll list here is this, this part here, C1, this part here, C2, and this part here, C3, which you can tell both from the, from the sketch and from the way the curve is described, it's quite natural to give three separate parameterizations which collectively parameterize the whole curve. So I would consider a solution to this problem to be the following, and I've pre-done it here, I'll just paste it on. So a model answer would be simply to note, simply to note that, that this curve C is a union of three segments, C is C1 union C2 union C3, and then to give a parameterization for each of these segments separately. So for C1, we have this parameterization, and you can pause the video and verify that that is a parameterization of C1, and over an interval I1, which is not the pi. And there's a separate parameterization for this curve, C2, for this segment C2, which itself is a curve, and that's given by this. There are other ways you might have done it, but I did it this way. And then finally, the parameterization for C3, and again, I'll let you verify that that is, in fact, a parameterization of C3. So that then would be a parameterization for the full curve. To be clear, you can see this, but I've here drawn, or started to draw, uh, each of these intervals, there are three separate intervals here. Um, in fact, two of them are the same. I1 goes from naught to pi. So this is the interval I1, but it's also, it's also, as you see here, it's also the interval I3. So those intervals actually overlap. And then I2, be this interval here. And so there are three separate intervals and three separate algebraic expressions giving this parameterization. And just to emphasize, you're not being asked to prove that this is a curve. This is a curve. You're told that, but it's obviously also obvious. That's not the point. The point is to get some algebraic expressions from which later you will differentiate to get tangents to the curve or integrate to get the length of the curve, this kind of thing. That's what you want to do. You want to deal with these, these um, these expressions to do later calculations and the fact that it's in three separate segments for almost everything we do won't make any difference. In fact, it would probably be easier that it's in three separate segments. And just finally, let me say, should you want to parameterize it, should I have, had I asked or had you wanted to give a single, uh, have a, specify a single interval rather than these non-consecutive uh, intervals, Given this parameterization, it wouldn't be very difficult to work with that, I've done this on the next page, to essentially put them end to end. This was, and still is, this is I1. And then basically what you would have done is move the interval I2 to here, and you would have moved the interval I3 from above to here, and put them end to end to form a single interval from naught to 2 pi plus 1, and then the three separate parameterizations I had before by simply shifting this variable t appropriately, and again I'll let you verify that, you now have a single parameterization by considering different cases uh, over a single interval. And you can do this, but I, again I just want to emphasize there, there aren't many advantages in general to, to producing such a thing, that it's just as well to work with, to work with this. And in any case, unless I ask you otherwise, if given a curve in these obvious multiple segments like this, producing a parameterization of this form is a solution.